hard skill choreography, beauty, and music, it's like a different world, amazing and exciting. Kazakhstan inside of classics. Hello, Amina. Hi, Kajimurat. Did you learn everything that they asked us? Yes, I did. Let's repeat it now in the theater together. All right. Who do you want to become when you grow up? I want to become famous opera singer just like Medya Chotabayev, Mir Bainesh, and Sundiet Baigozhan. And who do you dream to become? I want to become as famous singer as Maria Mudrak, Celine Dion, and Lara Fabian. When we become adults, we will definitely play in the opera Kizhibek. I will be in the role of Telegen, and well, you will play the role of Kizhibek. Murat and Amina. For them, Astana Opera became the second home. After classes in the main school, here they're trained in a children's studio. Children are very happy to see friends and the beloved teacher again after a long summer vacation. They came today earlier than usual to repeat the homework before classes begin. Amina, are you ready? Yes, I am. Let's go. We perform opera in the original language that was used by the composer. All operas are performed in the original language they were written. If La Boema or Tosca are sang in Italian, Kajibek we sing in Kazakh and Carmen we should sing in French. When people come to our concerts, they do not understand Italian or French, so we have to sing correctly. Otherwise, it will be completely unclear to them. But I don't make mistakes. I sing right. When I grow up, I want to become a ballet dancer, because I really like ballet. I think ballet is not just a dance, I consider it an art. There they dance very beautifully. The girls are very friendly and calm. I like my teacher, I like the way she teaches us. They all dream of performing on the big stage. For the sake of this dream today, they're sacrificing many things, including their sweet night's sleep. Every morning at 8 a.m., they're already in the classroom in Astana Opera. 
Opening in 2013 in the capital of our country, the Theater Astana Opera has become a truly historic event for Kazakhstan. From the very beginning, the management of the theater did not ignore the kids who have a talent to classical art. Already in 2014, the theater opened a children's studio, which today has become a platform for the realization of creative opportunities for young residents of Astana. The goal of creating a children's studio is to provide the theater with its creative children's staff so that we do not ask for children from any other creative troops because in the repertoire of the theater there are several performances for today where a composer wrote the children's choir. All the world's theaters have their own children's groups and therefore Astana Opera could not abandon this idea, this idea that we need our own children's troupe. For example, there is such a world practice, even in France. The famous Grand Opera once started with a small children's studio, which over the years grew into a big theater. We also have such plans. Time will show what will happen. Great achievements begin with small victories. It is possible that in the future, the student's studio will become a big academy of arts, and the kids will become the next world-famous stars of the theatrical scene. Because unlike their peers who are still in carefree childhood, they work daily, learning notes and parts in different languages, all for the sake of their future success. Many years of research by scientists say that when educating children, Japanese and German people pay special attention to musical education. In these countries, children always attend musical schools and learn classical works by heart. Because introducing a child to art from an early age, it opens up great opportunities for him in the future. He has a completely different worldview. Even the mathematical abilities of children who are engaged in music develop better. In the future, it is much easier for them to develop relationships with people around them, awakening interest in learning other languages. In a word, music is the basis of everything. We call this spiritual food. For example, when a person reads a book, his worldview changes. He's becoming a better person. The same thing is with our ballet. It teaches to appreciate the beauty in life. In fact, in our studio, there are a lot of such guys who really love art and strive for beauty. And our main task is to teach children. The first composition of the children's studio was formed from the children of the theater staff. A little later, through the media and official recruitment of children, was announced. About 300 children came for our first audition. We looked at them all. It was a long and difficult task. It was necessary to see the talent of children in a very short time, because we could not force 300 children to wait for a very long time. Therefore, each child had literally three minutes each. Initially, the children were admitted to the studio from the age of five, but studying with these kids caused some difficulties for the teaching staff. To accustom to the big stage of a child who had not yet had time to go to a regular school turned out to be very difficult. In addition, then in the ranks of the studio were children even without musical abilities. Of course, all this happened because of the lack of experience in this direction, but for a new theater it became a greater lesson. Now everything happens quite differently. Now we do not accept five, six-year-olds. They are not allowed to join our team. We accept children from eight years old. Children who are at least studied one year in music school. By the age of eight, they have been able to study at music school for at least one year. Now we do not take children without musical education because not knowing the notes, it's very difficult to work at the children's choir. These were our difficulties. Since the official opening of the children's studio three years have passed, more than 100 children are engaged in choral and ballet departments today. Classes are held three times a week, in the morning and in the evening. First, we are warming up our voice, then they give 
us a song, we learn it with the notes after we learn the words of a musical piece in a language in which it was written. Children are like a sponge. They absorb everything very quickly, a lot faster than the adults learn, because they still have a live memory and they are still growing. Any language can be easy for them. It doesn't matter whether they are studying in in school or not. Altangani Mahmetova works in a children's studio since the foundation. Together with other teachers, they passed all the difficulties that had to be faced at the beginning of its formation. Now she is rightfully proud of the first achievements of her children, in plans to expand the studio and continue to teach children the basics of classical art. After lunch at 4 o'clock to work on their vocals is easier because the children woke up, they were in school all day, they were active and cheerful. In the morning at 8.30 am it's much more difficult. And any vocalist will tell you this. Why? Because children just woke up and immediately went to the choir. The voice had not yet awakened. It's a bit complicated to work on their vocals in the morning. But they are singing, the voice comes to form, and we start working on the works that we have included in our repertoire program. At this time, young artists are preparing for the premiere of the opera Carmen. Before that, they already had the opportunity to show their skills in such productions as Tosca, La Boema, Kashibek, and The Nutcracker. Recently, we had the opera Kashibek, where I played the role of Sansis Bai. I played the younger brother of Tolegen. In the production of Tosca, I played a cowherd boy. Alina, who you want to become when you grow up? A ballet dancer. Me too. I would like to become a famous choreographer and pass on my experience to young people. At the very beginning, the most important thing for them is gymnastics. There is a special professional ballet gymnastics. The first month, they are engaged only in gymnastics. By the end of the first school year, they should be firmly on their feet. Then, we put them to ballet. We teach them different positions of the legs, positions of their hands, and so gradually we move on to the dance. Then, already when they have certain skills and abilities, we involve children in the productions.
They are the future stars of the ballet. Currently, about 50 children are trained in the ballet department of the studio. In this room, seven-year-olds are continuously engaged for an hour and a half, trying to correctly repeat everything that their teacher shows. One, two, three, four. Well done, Yana. Not bad, Camila. Continue to jump. Ballar studies in the direction of all. The main difference of our studio is that it is located at the Theatre of Astana Opera. Second of all, only ballet dancers work here. We teach children only classical dance. Every child is special for us because before they got here, they all went through a tough competitive selection. We are necessarily taking into account their physical features and capabilities. It would seem that these kids just recently started their theatrical career, but they already have their own audience. All of them take an active part in concerts and other events that take place in the theater, and many even have the opportunity to perform on the same stage with the world stars of the ballet. When our theater just opened, the legendary La Scala Theater came to visit us. Then they brought us the Ballet Don Quixote. Our children also took part in this production. They also performed to the opera of the Mariinsky Theater, Gold of the Rhine. Obviously, the children's studio of the Theatre Astana Opera opens great opportunities for young connoisseurs of high art. They work together with professionals in their field, perform with the choir, symphony orchestra and leading soloists of the theatre. Children have a unique opportunity from the early childhood to perfect their skills on the big stage together with the world-famous stars. <laughs> I always get very excited when I go on stage. I think that all artists worry. Before going on stage, I always pray so that everything would go well and I would perform perfectly. But on stage, I always feel myself confident. These children should be able not only to sing and dance well, but also to have a certain artistry. Therefore, special lessons of acting skills are conducted for them. Here they learn to properly reveal one or another character, as well as the ability to relax on the stage. We offer a lot of exercises for attention. Strictly speaking, this is one of the elements of acting skills of attention. It begins to form the very first lesson. Attention because it's not just how I behave on the stage where I have partners, but at the same time some moments where it's the orchestra pit. At the La Boema they have to run right before the orchestra pit. They need to be able to pay attention to every little detail. We are working on it. We're afraid. Now we're scary. Good. We're cats. We're tigers, we're snakes, we're in a hurry for a birthday. Good. Children in the choir department of the children's studio are from 8 to 16 years old. But even after reaching this age, if desired, they can stay at the studio. The doors for them are always open. 
After all, since they know the whole repertoire of the choir by heart, they are the main backbone of the vocal group. Children leave because boys at a certain age start to grow up and they have a voice mutation. They stop singing with children's voices, they start singing with older voices. And during this voice mutation for them, it is generally impossible to sing. It's easy to work with children in principle. They're so natural, they never pretend. They just live their children's lives, so we say. Always fun and energetic. Therefore, it's always a pleasure to work with them. I'm surprised at little children. I've never seen any mistakes on their part. They all perform correctly. Despite their young age, they work on a par with professional artists. After all, children learn very quickly. Unlike adults, children are not afraid of the stage. When we're on the stage, we often worry. We're wondering whether we're moving right or standing on the stage, whether we'll look good. And children behave on the stage quite freely, clearly following the set goal. In this regard, I really envy them. Fakaji Murat Mir Bainesh is an example to follow. He does not miss a single play with his participation. For him, it is a great honor and joy to perform on one stage and sometimes in one performance together with his idol. Similarly, when in childhood Mir wanted to become like Alibek Dnishev to reach the same heights in art and sing with him on the same stage. But it's over. He did not have the same opportunities as modern children. This is the uniqueness of the children's studio at the Stana Opera Theater. Only here, children can get a chance to work on the same stage with famous people. I would like to study in England or United States after I graduate from children's studio. I would like to travel to Italy and study in Milan after I graduate from here. Which way the children will choose after finishing the children's studio is up to them alone. It is possible that not all of them will follow the creative path. It happens. For some, classical music and theater will remain just a hobby. But it's not bad at all. To instill a love for the classical art from childhood, it means to form a good aesthetic taste in the child. In the future, he will be able to perfectly understand the art, with pleasure attend opera and ballet productions, and this is already a great character trait. Therefore, the main mission of the studio is not only the preparation of stage artists, but also the introduction of children to the culture, the development of their sense of beauty, while Kajimurat and Amina share their dreams about what roles they want to play in the future. In the future, I dream to play till again from the opera Kajibek. I really like this character. He's a real batir, protects people who are in need of health and care, and I want to play him. I dream to play the role of Kajibek from the opera Kajibek. This is a very good character. She was kind and very beautiful. Maybe they are the future Toligan and Kashibek, but the fact that they are the future bright stars of the Theater Astana Opera is evident today. With confident steps, they follow their dreams, bright representatives of Kazakh youth. They are our future.